Hey everyone, in this quick video I'm just going to go over how to change our permalink structure and also why it's important. So I've logged into my dashboard already. If you haven't done so, you should do so now so you can follow along. And if we go down to where it says settings and just hover over that, we'll see where it says permalinks. And if we click on that, we're going to be brought to our permalink settings here. And you'll see that there's a variety of different options. The one that I recommend you choose here is called post name and it will look like this format where it will say your domain name forward slash and then your post name and that will automatically pull the name of the post that you have. So if you have a blog post here and it's titled my website it will say your domain name dot com slash my hyphen website here for this post. And that's really important because it helps with SEO purposes and makes your users that are on your site have a better chance of finding the content that they're looking for. So by default, it's usually set to plain here. And with plain, you have this question mark P equals one, two, three. And that basically, I believe, means page or post equals and then it has a number. So if it's your first post, it might say P equals one, P equals two and so on. This one goes by the day and name and it, and it gives you this format, which doesn't really look so great in my opinion, either one of these. This one as well is month and name. So it gives you basically a date when it was posted and a name, it's similar to this one. This is archives and it just says a number. None of these things really help you to find exactly what it is and they're longer also, which is worse for search engine optimization as well. You want it to be short and sweet and straight to the point. So it's best to use this one post name here. And then after you have it in place, you'll just want to click save changes here at the bottom to save that post name. And now it will say your permalink structure is updated here at the top to make sure it goes into effect the way that you want it to look. So I hope this was helpful. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below if you have any. And be sure to subscribe to my channel here for more WordPress videos. Thanks everyone.